Hey what's up this is Riyadh from Oxcoding and in this video we'll see the REST API that we're gonna use in our app. So go to this web link themoviedv.org and you will see this page. Here click on API. To see the API documentation click this link. Here we can see all the documentation. In our app we'll use movies. Get details to get the details information about a movie and to get popular movies right now here is get popular here we can try it out we can use this link to send the request here we can see that we need an api key i already have my own api key so i can put it here but later this api key might not work so get your own api key you can get the api key by signing up from here it's completely free so after you get your API key you can put it here these are optional so let's remove these let's send the request and we can see all the JSON data about popular movies right now now let's copy the ID of Avengers Endgame get details try it out and paste the ID Let's remove this, send request and we can see all the details about Avengers Endgame. We can also copy this link and paste it on the browser. It works the same. Here we can see the JSON data but we need to convert it to a Kotlin class so we can use it. Now here we can see a lot of fields like ID, original title release date, revenue, and so on. Now according to this JSON data, we need to create appropriate properties for our Kotlin class. We can create this class by ourselves or we can use a plugin that will do it for us. So let's install that plugin in Android Studio. File, Settings, Plugins, and here search JSON to Kotlin. And here we can see JSON to Kotlin class. I already have it installed so you guys go ahead and install it. After installing the plugin, restart the Android Studio. And in new you will see Kotlin data class file from JSON. Now inside VO or value object, new Kotlin data class, class name, movie details. And here we're gonna paste the JSON data. So copy and paste. Let's click on format. We don't need all of these fields here, so let's remove some. We also don't need spoken languages, but as you can see, it has multiple fields inside of it. So to give you guys an example, let's keep it here to see what will happen. Now click on advance, looks okay. Annotation, select JSON, others, it seems okay. Now let's hit generate. Here we can see two classes, movie details and spoken language. Inside movie details, we can see that a data class was created. The purpose of data class is to hold data. In Java, we would normally write setters and getters, but we don't have to do that here because we are using data class. Here we can see the spoken language and the spoken language variable holds a list of spoken language. So even if the spoken language has multiple fields, it gets created with no problem. We don't need all this information, so let's remove some. Here we can see some of the variables have annotation serialized name. This is the JSON field name poster underscore path, but here we are changing the variable with poster with capital path. So we need annotation serialized name to tell JSON that these two are the same. We didn't use serialized name where we didn't change the variable name. And here we're gonna change this vote underscore average to rating. We also need to check the variable type because sometimes the variable type might be wrong when this class get created. 
For an example, this rating might be an integer, so we need to check the variable type. We don't need the spoken language, so let's delete this. And that's all for this video. The project link is in the video description. See you guys in the next one.